呃，你们好，呃，呃，我叫呃严，呃，我是法国人，呃，我呃在清华大学学习，呃，计算机，啊，计划，呃，呃，我呃在 Google 工作，呃，我的中文不太好，呃，呃，我说英语，呃，可以吗？<笑>谢谢。Thank you. Um, okay, um, so today I'm going to be talking about some uh, tools uh, I like very much for uh, the web and for Chromium. So the first part uh, of my talk is about uh, Chromium. Um, so uh, this uh, is not my computer. Uh, my computer is uh, not able to connect to a projector. Uh, so uh, my friend Rafael uh, lent me his computer. Uh, and this is actually a good thing. Uh, Rafael uh, told me he wanted to build uh, Chromium, uh, but he has uh, nothing installed on his computer. He has no dependencies, uh, uh, no, nothing installed, and he didn't read the wiki pages. Uh, and this is good because, uh, so uh, back uh, this summer, uh, I did my internship in the Chrome, Google Chrome team uh, in Mountain View. Uh, and every student, uh, every intern, uh, in the Chrome team, uh, first has to read the wiki pages about Chromium, so uh, you probably know them. Uh, Chrome.org. Uh, so uh, this project, and uh, you have uh, a lot of pages uh, to read. Uh, how to uh, uh, install sources, how to build on different machines, and uh, this takes a long time. When you first arrive, you have to discover all the pages and read them and try to uh, understand. And this can take uh, one uh, or two days uh, of uh, configuring things. Um, and um, uh, then when you're set up, uh, if you need to change uh, the machine, uh, then you have to install everything again. And this uh, also takes uh, one day of uh, installing things. Uh, so what I thought is, uh, let's uh, do this only once. Uh, and uh, every page I was reading, every step, uh, I compiled it into uh, a bash script. And uh, this is how I got the idea to uh, do this tool, uh, CR. Uh, and what this tool uh, uh, does is take those uh, two days of configuration and transform them into five minutes. Uh, and this is uh, uh, the, the results. Uh, this is a, a simple bash script, uh, which uh, checks for everything, installs all the dependencies, uh, and uh, whenever there's something missing, it will ask uh, the question uh, uh, to the user and uh, install it. So uh, we, can, we can try it right now. Uh, it needs uh, only one line to install. Um, Oh, I'm going to need your password, sorry. <laughs> uh, and uh, what this uh, one line installer does is to uh, fetch uh, the, the script and put it into uh, local bin CR. And hopefully this works. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, and so this tool is called CR. Uh, and when you just do this, uh, you see uh, different options you can use. Uh, there's a clone, clean, build, <coughs> uh, some other hooks, uh, and uh, for now we have nothing configured, uh, so we, we are interested in the clone uh, command. So I'm just going to go into uh, my friend's uh, workspace, uh, and I'm going to do CR clone. Okay. Uh, it detects uh, that the current folder is here, so uh, I'm fine with this, I'm going to install the sources here. Uh, it detects that the Chromium Depot tools uh, are not installed, so it will install them into Workspace Depot tools. Uh, I'm also fine with this. Uh, and then it's uh, cloning the Depot tools. So uh, this takes some time. Uh, and we can uh, actually look at the code while it's cloning. Here. 
to clone. So here it checks uh, first where we want to clone the sources. Uh, if you were to be on a Google machine, you would clone it here. Uh, but uh, obviously this uh, uh, is not a Google machine. Um, and uh, it uh, installs a lot of tools, like including Ninja, uh, which is uh, Google's version of uh, Make, uh, which changes just a couple things. Uh, when you build Chromium uh, using a Make file, it is doing uh, maybe uh, two minutes. It's, it's, it is doing uh, two minutes of uh, something that is not necessary. I don't really remember uh, what it was, but what they did was to just take make uh, and replace it, uh, skip the unnecessary step. So uh, the build starts instead of waiting for two minutes. Uh, and the output is also uh, better to work with. So uh, back to the script. Uh, it is uh, still cloning. Uh, Okay, the network is uh, slow. <laughs> oh, it's coming. Okay, but we, uh, I guess we can just wait. Um, and uh, this approach uh, for this bash script uh, is something I really like. It's uh, if you know how to do something, uh, like how to install the Chromium sources or configure uh, whatever, instead of uh, writing a wiki page uh, saying uh, you should do this and then you should. Uh, take care of this is, has to be done, and etc. Uh, instead of writing uh, natural language in, a, in a, a wiki page like this, uh, you should write a, a script that does it. And, uh, just uh, asks the user, uh, okay, uh, I detected this is not there, so it should be installed, uh, and we should do this and this, and uh, uh, this uh, saves a lot of time. Um, Okay, uh, now it's configuring uh, Ninja, and uh, I could config, uh, I could customize the gclient file. Uh, if you wanted to do this, it would look like this, uh, but I'm fine with this, so I'm just going to skip this step. Uh, and then it says uh, downloading Chromium, uh, grab a coffee, uh, because cloning Chromium uh, takes a long time. I'm not sure if we're able to uh, go through all the steps of uh, cloning Chromium uh, and uh, and then after building it, but uh, I think you, you get the, the idea. Um, uh, so let's uh, interrupt this. Okay, and uh, now imagine if we had the sources of uh, Chromium uh, uh, downloaded, it would be an SRC, uh, and then we would be able to use the other commands. Uh, build is very useful. Uh, uh, it uh, it uh, checks everything <coughs> Uh, that is necessary for building. Uh, so if, if we find the build function, uh, which is here, uh, it, check, it, it asks you uh, if, uh, if you want to uh, uh, build like a different build. Uh, let, let, let's try it, actually. Uh, we can uh, run it even though uh, it will not work. Uh, so here it asks me, I'm not an SRC. Uh, uh, do you know what you're doing? Uh, uh, this would go wrong if I were to go to the end of it, but uh, let's just do it anyway. Uh, it asks for the target you want to build. Uh, this is the default target for Chrome. Uh, I, I uh, developed on WebKit, so I could be interested in building the dump uh, render tree instead. This is another target. Render tree. Oops. Okay. Uh, release or debug, and uh, it asks for the number of core uh, of threads actually. Um, and uh, if you are building with a server that has a lot of threads, uh, you could uh, use like maybe uh, 500 threads. Uh, the Chromium build. Uh, this is actually what I used this summer. Uh, the Chromium build are a lot faster if you use if you use a lot of threads. Uh, so this is it. Uh, it also has uh, a lot of uh, Nice folks, if you're working for WebKit, you could be choosing to have a separate WebKit folder. Uh, I don't know if you work on WebKit. No, maybe, maybe not. Uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, anyhow, uh, uh, if you are developing uh, Chromium uh, under Linux, I hope this uh, can help you. Um, so uh, this was the first part uh, for Chromium. Uh, now I'm going to be talking about tools for the web. So my internship was actually about the web inspector. 
uh, so this one, uh, you probably know them, and uh, uh, Anuri told me it's also in uh, uh, your browser, so this is the safe browser, uh, and I don't know if you exposed them, uh, but uh, I think it's, uh, those are very cool tools for uh, web development. Uh, I know a lot of people like them, uh, the official numbers are uh, XX million users uh, that use uh, developer tools, um, and this was the, the team I did my internship in uh, this summer. Um, there are a lot of uh, very nice talks about what these tools can do. Uh, you could, uh, for example, follow uh, people like uh, Paul Irish uh, or Adi Osmani. Uh, just going to write their names. Uh, friends of mine who uh, do very uh, good talks about uh, left tools, uh, about how you could make uh, websites be really fast uh, and really good. <coughs> uh, it's not allowed. It's not allowed. Okay. Uh, anyway, that's not a problem. Maybe their websites work at uh, Ad, Adi Osmani um, and uh, Paul Irish, where you probably know them if you're interested in web development. But I think they have very nice uh, talks. Uh, Okay, uh, and uh, what I was working on was in the sources panel the JavaScript editor because uh, I'm interested in I happen to be interested in editors. So if in this web page we have uh, JavaScript, uh, maybe this one. This is minified JavaScript. So we can uh, expose it uh, uh, more nicely, and uh, here you can have some cool features like uh, live edit the page. You could be uh, changing it in real time, maybe adding some conditions, uh, etc. Do nothing. Okay. Um, so this JavaScript editor uh, has uh, a lot of features. You can uh, set breakpoints when you're not currently editing. So let's back up. Okay. Uh, breakpoints. Yeah. Nice. Uh, and um, then you could be trying to debug the page. Uh, this is a very powerful debugger. It's very cool. Um, but the the editor is a is a. I think it's slow. Uh, it, it doesn't highlight very fast. Uh, and if the script would have been more than ten thousand lines, it would stop highlighting uh, uh, already. Uh, and uh, uh, the DevTools team is uh, actually they don't want to. Uh, su support it anymore, uh, and they're uh, kind of lazy uh, for implementing new features. Um, and so this is the state of uh, this editor. Uh, now I'll be talking about another project which I like very much. It's uh, called Codemir. I don't know if you know it. Uh, it's an uh, in-browser uh, code editor. So it, it supports a lot of languages uh, you can see here. Uh, one uh, very good example is the HTML mode. Uh, and it's just uh, it's just basically an editor uh, that is uh, web based. So this would be uh, very useful uh, here, I think. Uh, and it supports additional languages. Uh, so maybe for web development, you won't need all of those languages, but you could be interested in uh, supporting uh, uh, CSS preprocessor languages, like uh, for example, uh, Less, uh, which is supported, or I don't remember if SAS is supported. Uh, no, but uh, SAS is basically CSS, so you can highlight it uh, this way. Uh, and the point is, there are a lot of uh, mo uh, modes for popular languages uh, in there, uh, languages that are not supported by uh, the current <coughs> editor. Uh, also, the editor is uh, really fast, uh, because it's based on a viewport, uh, so it can handle files that are uh, millions of lines uh, without, without trouble. Uh, we actually looked at uh, uh, the heap usage, like for example, here you can uh, profile here you can profile a heap of a, of a web page um, and see what what is taking uh, uh, the most memory and uh, how you could optimize it. Here we see a lot of arrays, uh, and we use this technique on the editor to uh, see uh, how we could make it better. Um, and so. Uh, we concluded that uh, the, this uh, editor was taking a lot of memory because it constructs everything. Uh, everything is in memory here. Uh, 
the whole uh, document uh, is in memory and highlighted, whereas in code mirror only a fraction of the code is uh, is uh, shown uh, in memory in DOM. Uh, so uh, it, it has uh, more features, uh, it has a lot of support, uh, the community is very big uh, and it gets updates uh, uh, very heavily and uh, one good example is the Vim key bindings, I, I happen to be a fan of the Vim uh, and uh, recently the Vim implementation was completely redone uh, by a guy and I, I think he did a pretty good job, like it has a, a, a lot of, uh, like the, all the standard functions like uh, Etc. And uh, it's it's just cool to be able to use Vim key bindings uh, in using JavaScript, like if I were in my terminal, uh, like uh, just for editing a web page. And so I thought uh, that also it has a, a lot of very cool features. It has auto completion. You can uh, do some good code. code for this is a very cool demo. Uh, if you were to, for example, fold uh, this function here or unfold this one. Uh, I think it's pretty good. Uh, people can uh, uh, understand better, uh, have a better overview of the code you're working on. Here you cannot fold in code. So I thought, uh, why couldn't we uh, take uh, this editor uh, and put it into here? Uh, this would be much better. Uh, much faster, uh, support for a lot of languages, a lot of features, and uh, this was actually what I started doing during my internship uh, this summer uh, on, on Google Chrome. So if we were to, uh, I think this is a recent version of Chrome, so uh, maybe the experiment is accessible. We're just going to activate the flag uh, about uh, flags. And we're going to be looking for developer tools experiments. Uh, this is currently an experiment, so this is, uh, I didn't replace the default uh, editor yet because uh, it has uh, a, a lot of uh, improvements that, that need to be done. And here, I just enabled this flag, so I need to launch the browser. And uh, hopefully, we'll be able to use my experimental editor. So, uh, what this did is now here, we have a tab called Experiments, and we see uh, Use Code Mirror Editor. This is the experiment I created here. Uh, so now if we restart the developer tools, here it's now uh, Code Mirror, which has very some trouble highlighting. Uh, uh, yeah, this is Gomir. Uh, I, mean, uh, I had to make it look very similar to the previous editor because uh, uh, my project manager re really liked the way it was before. But we can s uh, spot some differences. The breakpoints don't exactly look the same. Uh, and uh, one giveaway is the color of uh, the selection, which is not system color. Uh, and yeah, so this is basically a code mirror. Uh, and uh, this is what I'm still working on and I'm trying to make it better. I implemented recently the, uh, the, the right click, uh, so you can be typing in a lot of different languages, uh, and it, uh, it supports uh, breaking on breakpoints and uh, debugging, and uh, it's almost, uh, uh, it has almost reached a feature parity with the current editor. So I hope to be able to uh, uh, make it move past the experimental stage and make it go uh, the default editor. Uh, so I think it would be a really nice tool to uh, be able to edit uh, web pages and debug them by using all the features that Google uh, uh, can offer. Uh, and uh, and I think that's uh, all for uh, today. Yeah. I don't know if you have uh, any questions. So for the first tool, where can we download that? Uh, so the first tool, uh, it is available at my uh, GitHub page. So it's uh, github.com slash yamkironis, this is my name, and slash cr. Uh, here. Uh, it is open source, so uh, feel free to use it. Feel free to uh, suggest modifications. Uh, if you uh, need a feature that is not supported, uh, 
again, an open issue, and I will do my best and support this feature. Uh, and you can just install it by using this. Uh, uh, both. Uh, this is uh, Chrome. Uh, this is not Chromium, and it has the code mirror uh, uh, because the, they share a big uh, part of the code base, and the code mirror is in both. From the twenty um, uh, From uh, so it, uh, it started maybe in the twenty one or twenty two. So, uh, but it was a very basic version of the editor, and I continued adding features, uh, and I think uh, this might be the twenty third. If I um, yep, uh, 23rd, uh, and it doesn't have my latest uh, uh, patch because I fixed something here. You could be able to set a breakpoint or uh, edit the condition for a breakpoint, and uh, this is uh, not there yet. So this is probably 24 or 25. Uh, but yeah, I'm uh, shipping functionalities uh, uh, as fast as I can and as fast as my studies and other projects uh, allow me. What's the benefit if I use a mirror? The benefit if you use a code mirror? Uh, 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 so now it's uh, experimental, so you won't, like maybe some uh, features will not be supported yet, but the, the long term benefit is uh, you would be able to edit faster uh, and you will have uh, a lot of features. Uh, what I'm planning, planning to do soon is to take all those uh, nice features, and uh, it also also has like be beautiful themes. Uh, this is maybe a detail, but uh, I think it's important to uh, have a, a, a nice ed uh, editing environment. Uh, and I will be exposing those options uh, in the options menu. Uh, so maybe I will have a tab that is called the uh, editor, and we will be able to choose uh, a lot of options because the Premiere has a lot of them. So maybe. Uh, Indentation, how many spaces or tabs, or uh, the theme, or etc. What features you want, to, or, or your, what theme? If you're a fan of uh, Vim, like I am, or Emacs, you can also switch to uh, other keynaps. So I will be submitting a patch for this hopefully uh, soon, maybe for Chrome uh, 27 or I don't know. Uh, yes, so uh, another experiment here, uh, support for SAS. So I, I don't uh, really know uh, what this does, uh, but it's uh, experimental SAS support in, uh, in the DevTools. Uh, I think it was something that uh, Paul Irish uh, was really pushing for, uh, because uh, CSS preprocessors like SAS and uh, less are very popular, so it would be important to uh, add support for this uh, in, the, in the DevTools. You can actually try it. I don't know if you can see anything because I don't know where to look. But, oh, and we would need an example of a SAS page. <coughs> Hopefully, this web page uses SAS. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see it. And uh, style sheets. Yeah, I don't really know what to look for this, but uh, it's, uh, uh, maybe it would be nice to combine with this experiment uh, once it's ready to uh, have uh, SAS highlighting ready for in, the, in the editor department. So when I opt in this option, I don't have to insert uh, the set of objects in my HTML file? You still have to do this uh, because uh, the, the, the tools uh, will be able to uh, understand the SAS code, uh, but for your website to work, obviously you still need the SAS.js uh, for our other browsers. And so yeah, uh, the, the benefit would be to have uh, tools that understand SAS, that have uh, maybe um, a source maps, so you could be seeing your SAS code and editing it and seeing the results in, in real time, and maybe changing some colors or Other questions? Okay, so uh, thank you very much. Well, it was great talking to you.
I'll be around, so if you want to ask questions later, don't hesitate. Do I have one here?可以可以和那个不用讲师沟通交流一下有问题吗可以可以和那个不用讲师沟通交流一下有问题吗可以可以和那个不用讲师沟通交流一下有问题吗可以可以和那个不用讲师沟通交流一下有问题吗可以可以